When doing design review with Unreal Engine, it's important to be able to make changes rapidly and understand the implications of those changes without redoing a lot of work. The new reimport workflows in Unreal Studio 420 make it much easier to see design changes downstream. Users will be able to make changes in Unreal Engine while keeping the ability to revert those changes by resynchronizing to the original Datasmith import on demand. When reimporting, you can now keep or revert transforms on changed actors. Go ahead and make the desired changes, experiment with your design, and keep it or revert it back to the original state. Working with variations is greatly simplified. You can keep or revert material assignments on actors that have been updated. Simply make the changes in the source application, re-export the Datasmith file, choose re-import and see the changes without redoing lots of previous work. This means you can now re-import static meshes without resetting all of the build settings like UVs, LODs, collisions, and static mesh material assignments. Previously, importing CAD data was an all-or-nothing situation when it came to surface tessellation. Now you have per-object tessellation settings. Simply select the object in the content browser that you want to re-import with different tessellation settings. Increase or decrease the resolution as desired, and the static mesh with the new tessellation settings will appear in the scene. Finally, you can also now have multiple instances of a Datasmith scene in the same level, and you can allow actors to be moved across sublevels without breaking the re-import. The 420 release of Unreal Studio greatly extends what's possible with iterative workflows.